<laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> you just with the countdown, you went six. I tricked and, you, dude. Yeah, I you did trick you. me. Six, three, two, one. That's how you count. Mm-hmm. Anyway, welcome back to the next on your toes. podcast. Yeah, keep me on my toes, and I fell. I dropped the ball there. <laughs> um, but welcome back, episode sixty mm-hmm. of the Nisto Bros podcast. Uh, we're doing a a, a draft a sandwich draft, uh, courtesy of Barstool Sports. Shout we'll out to, to them. Uh, we do you are think anyone, do you think like a producer will ever do that to you? They'll like, they'll be giving you the countdown to go on the air for your sports broadcasting. I, uh, I, uh... I certainly hope not because I don't know what it's I not would very do. professional, right? Yeah. I don't think that's a good, I don't think that's a real good look. Oh my goodness. Um... <laughs> Okay, He's so got you, oven mitts on. You, you recognize it right away. I was just gonna keep, you know, t- you know, since I talk with my hands, I'm taking these off. I'm sweating. Uh, oh, I'm sweating too. We got a, a fiery episode. <clears throat> We're pre-recording on a pre-recording. Wednesday, Wednesday, May nineteenth. So we got extra birthdays. We got extra on this days for you to make up for the lack of uh, episode recaps because mm-hmm. they haven't happened yet. But at the time you're listening, they have happened. So go and watch them if you haven't already. You dig. You dig. Do it. Uh, uh, yeah. May 19th. Birthdays. So uh, I, I forget when the last time we pre-recorded, pre-recorded was. Been a minute. Do we do the, just the May 19th stuff first? The birthdays on this days, and then we'll go to Saturday? Or do we sure. do the birthdays? Let's do okay, it like let's that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So May 19th birthdays, uh, RIP to Hello. Did you see Hello? that light? Did you see nope. that light? Nope. No. Oh. 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 It's yeah. It's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. All right. Well. You know I'm on the set right now, right? <laughs> like I'm recording. It's talking to a light bulb, everyone. Enough. Okay. On this day, happy birthday, late, gr- late, great. Yeah, he was pretty young. Uh, Andre the Giant. Yes. Not the giant Andre. Nope. Andre the giant. Yes. Different people. Uh, he had to be young when he died. No, yeah, like, for sure. All of his health issues with his size, and then he was drinking and doing all those fun things that are not so fun he after was the fact. A ginormous human being, and yeah. it's just it's a shame that a lot a lot of times humans aren't really made to be that size, and you know are our bodies, their bodies just can't really take it for that long, especially, I mean, a lot of normal size wrestlers have, you know, shorter lifespans as well. Yeah. Um, And it was like a, and I think like the the timing of his uh, existence, I suppose, was just bad because they didn't know a whole lot Um, because big show um, Paul White has or had the same issue as Andre the Giant. It was like something, it, it was like, I think it was like something in their brain, some kind of gland that just like doesn't stop you from growing. Um, but they, you know, with Paul White, Big Show, like they recognized it and they were, you know, now the technology they have back then, they were able to kind of nip it in the bud so he wouldn't have similar problems as Andre. Um, even though Big Show Paul White is already a big dude, mm-hmm. but Andre the Giant, uh, I have no idea. Is I, his I, middle name the? I think it should be. Um, I don't even know if his real name is Andre. I feel like it should be. I think we're just we just have to throw some kind of name out there. I'm going. I, I honestly have no idea. Andre, no middle name. I'm giant. gonna say last Thomas. Name. Something <laughs> Thomas. I think he's, he was French. Oh, was he, oh he was French. Okay. Yes. I knew so it was some kind of European. We have a few answers for us here. Uh, his name is Andre oh. Rene Rusmoff. Rusmoff. Rusev Day? R O U S S I M O F F. Not a real name. That's not true. That's not real. Rusama, Andre Rene. So neither of us were right. He died at 46. I knew it was somewhere in his 40s. When did he pass away? 1993. Oh, wow. You were born. Yeah, that's true. Uh, How old would he be now? 
if he, he was would still alive. Be, uh, let's see. He would be probably still kicking. 75? He could still be kicking. I mean, with all those issues, obviously, then he couldn't even get to 50. But, yeah. Yeah, he'd be 75. It's livable. Yeah, for sure. Uh, happy birthday again. So this is Wednesday at so we're recording. It is this person's birthday, Kevin Gar. Net. He was just inducted into the uh, Basketball Hall of Fame just this past weekend. Uh, well deserved. Uh, yeah, definitely. A Hall of Fame career, no doubt. So many time All Star, All Defensive Team, Defensive Player of the Year, MVP, Champion, all the things. He did all the things. Yeah. And- with every team that he was on, too. You know, obviously, mainly with like, you know, the, the Celtics. I mean, I can't, it's kind of hard to say that too. Cause even with the Timberwolves, like he's a big, important dude for that. For the those big teams. Ticket. Yeah. The that's big a good ticket. name. Yeah. Yeah. So happy birthday to Kevin Andrew Garnett. Really? Huh? Kevin Andrew? Huh? Oh, huh? I, got uh, you there. I think it could be Kevin Devin. Classic. <laughs> going back to it for sure. I'm going to go Kevin uh, Raul. What? Yeah, dude, I'm feeling frisky with it, dude. Absolutely feeling... not. There's Ooh, no, no way. I was pretty close, man. There's no chance. I had the the second two letters correct. Get the f- out of here. Yeah. Andrew. So it had to be Andrew. Kevin Maurice. Oh. Garnett. A-U, uh, Raul, A-U. That's a stretch. I got some part of it right. I get that, point. I get point one points for that. Point one points. If that's what helps you sleep at night. You know I what helps Maurice me sleeping at Garnett. night? I'm gonna what I'm is? gonna do a plug. I haven't said it, and I'm decked out in my I am merchandise. I am morning show, courtesy of Alfonso, who was our guest last week. Go check out his Instagram and his shop. Go and do that. And, and our podcast episode last week. Yeah, end our episode last week. You dig? And uh, while you're there, go to the Nisto Bros shop too on Teespring and use promo code Nisto Ships for free shipping on all future orders. Go do it. Oh, what? Yes. Ew. That was how gross. many um, all star games Kevin Garnett went to. He's also 45 today, by the way. 45. And he was in the league for a long time. Did he make it to 20 years in the league? He played 20. Uh, Over 20. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 20 seasons. 20 seasons exact. I'm going to say he made it. To, the question was all-star games? Yeah. I'm going, oh, man, I'm, t- I'm torn between two numbers. So I'll go in between 17 all-star games. He made 15 only. Shoot. So. That was not what I was going to think. I was 16 and 18 is what yeah, I Yeah, he kind of slowed down towards the end of his career. And, that and makes sense. I kind of figured bit. like his like first couple years in the league, you know, rookies, unless they're like super standout, don't make the all-star team really. And yeah. Then, yeah. Okay. That makes sense. And so for our on this day – for today, May 19th, Wednesday, I'm seeing the light again. We have. I'm just leaving it off. You can't. We even have Sorry. the release in 1999. <clears throat> so what is that? That is 22 years ago at this point of Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace, the return to the Star Wars trilogy. Yeah. The, the uh, prequel trilogy. Really, really, uh, you know crazy probably at the time for like uh yeah you know there was such you know star wars when it first came out was such this big phenomenon and then it comes out again and then what happens six years later mike uh it's pretty unfortunate that i came back though because episode one yeah no no no. episode one wasn't the uh highlight of kind of poop yeah wasn't the the exception of darth maul Darth Maul. darth maul's a g but he Qui-Gon, should have had R.I.P. Qui Gon Jinn. He should have had zero lines in that movie, Darth Maul. <laughs> zero, and he, he spoke, and that's dumb. Yeah. Anyway, R.I.P. Qui Gon Jinn. R.I.P. Qui Gon Jinn. Liam, Liam Neeson. Neeson, the king. Uh, yeah, and then six years later, they episode themselves. three, they episode three, themselves. Revenge of the Sith comes out, and definitely redemption because one and two were borderline hot garbage yeah, and maybe just regular uh temperature garbage 
maybe no they're like borderline like eh, okay oh yeah yeah yeah. it's It's like it's like okay yeah it's garbage like like it's a it's like a warm house but it's not like outside like in the sun stewing and yeah it's not it's not that it's not that it wasn't that bad but close but episode three it was maybe by the door but episode three we've talked about it many many times i think is is our favorite one i don't know if it's just because the time that we grew up and stuff like no disrespect to the originals they're also great but yeah <clears throat> revenge of the sith my favorite very very excited that uh there's going to be the obi-wan series coming coming out in the uh in the future what you're not excited for that no because don't you like, don't like i don't Obi-Wan. like one i but don't like, like obi-wan He's no but it's like it's more clown. but it's more of a continuation of after the revenge of the sith that's why We'll see. I'll probably still watch it because it's like you know, between Star Revenge Wars. of the Sith and like the uh, original trilogy, so it's exciting. Oh, okay. That opinion. is exciting. Yeah. He's still, he's still a, a. I don't know if I could say this. They say that on iCarly. He's a boob, or they say it on Drake and Josh, not iCarly. Yeah, he's a boob. Yeah. Eh. You know, like Ewan. To each, to each their own. To each their own and then so at the time you're listening to it who is saturday is it saturday may 22nd we're gonna give some birthday shout outs as well yeah we got three for saturday that are all pretty big pretty big maybe not in size especially for this first guy you know he's a b plus player some some have said but he's really an a plus player dan your brian it's his birthday on Saturday, time of posting. And I know his his real name. Yep. I don't know his middle name. Yeah, me neither. But I'm going to go Brian Eric Danielson. With a C or a K or both? Both. Oh, oh he's going CK. I don't think so. They're I'm weird thinking, in, in Aberdeen, Aberdeen yeah, Washington. Aberdeen, bro. Washington. I'm thinking I'm going Brian lawrence danielson brian danielson is his real name for those who don't know uh oh you have the first letter we're going with brian lloyd danielson. lloyd lloyd Ugh. all right yeah that doesn't feel good i don't yeah. like that one got two l's for no reason None. english language thank you very much you suck you're, you're dumb Happy birthday to another small short king, uh, former Patriot, just retired. Julian Super Edelman, Bowl Super, Super Bowl, Bowl MVP, champion. I believe. Yeah, I think you might be right. Multiple time Super Bowl champion, obviously yes. with the Patriots, and uh, good, good for him. You know, happy yeah. retirement. He's he should enjoy it. Um, again, like you said, small individual, and especially at the wide receiver position is almost kind of unheard of Mm -hmm. uh, for like a guy of his size. I mean, even in the NFL, his his size is kind of unheard of, but he got up there for some catches and he was wicked fast. Yes, for sure. And I didn't purposely say wicked because New England Patriots. Eh. Eh. Yeah, what's up, dude? There it is. He's got wicked hops, dude. (laughs) I'm thinking Julian... Oh man, I have no idea. How do you go from somewhere with Julian? I'm going, I might take the Alfonso route. I might find a name and I'm just going to stick with that until it's Mm. right. But not today's not the day. Okay. I'm going Julian. Julian Floyd. I don't like that one. Lloyd to Floyd. Floyd. We went from Lloyd to Floyd. I'm going to go with Julian Ronald Edelman. I, I feel good about that one. That's, you feel that good sounds, about Ronald? Yeah. I, I feel good. Oh, about it. nope. No, Damn. no correct answer so far. We have Julian Francis Edelman. Uh, We've had some out there middle names. We got Maurice. We Francis, got Francis, I think, is a repeat offender. I think Francis has come up more than once. Yes, for sure. Insane. He's only turning uh, 35 today. So uh, props to uh, yeah. retire retirement. Early. Yeah, good for him. Deserves well, body it. Is still intact. Yeah, I can enjoy his life still. Uh, I don't even want to give this last guy a birthday shout, but like, I guess all right. No, he's not RIP. He's still alive. I think. I think so. 
Um, but he's probably the worst thing that's ever happened to baseball and pitching. Uh, happy birthday, I suppose. I don't want to say his name. <sighs> I'll. You want me to do it? I'm not. Oh, no, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, go ahead. I don't want. I'm gonna. I don't want to hear it. Tommy John. Oh God, it makes me cringe. The actual guy who the surgery is named after. He's Sorry. probably. He probably had so, to have it, you know? Yeah, I was so going to say, I reckon he probably he's probably had it. Kind of like Lou Gehrig's disease. They probably is probably like the same deal. Yeah. You know, the, he was the first, the OG of this Tommy John surgery. And I kind of wish he didn't do that. Yeah. Idiot. But enjoy your birthday, idiot. Tommy, Thomas, Alan, John. He's got, said, he, you said he's got Alan? two. Yeah, he's got two first names anyway. So he does. It's tough. It's always tough. I think it's going to be Thomas John John. Thomas no, John kidding. John. <laughs> I'm going Joseph. Wow. Thomas Joseph John. That's stupid. What I just say, Alan? Alan. You said Alan from The Hangover. Yeah. Alan. We got Thomas Edward John Jr., stupid. age 78, on Saturday. Happy kind of birthday to you. And we're going to be done talking about you because you're. Uh, you I know. hope you get diarrhea for your birthday. Ouch. Not like in a gift box or a bag. Like your hey, stomach be, is like. Be kind of funny, and then you're in. You're in the John. In That's that. not the joke. He's That's in the, the Edward yet. John. We're getting you're getting one for free there. That's that a free one. Tend to do. Uh, on this day now and Saturday, uh, you know, we're going to burn through this. We, we can take a little more time on this because we don't have episodes uh, to talk about. So we get right into the draft um, on this day on Saturday time of posting. Whew, this is a few years ago. We're going we're going a little bit back here. We're going to 1803. <laughs> 1803. The first U.S. public library opens up in Connecticut. Yes. Good for Connecticut having Good something for Connecticut. to cheer about. Uh, really exciting news, to be honest. Like, yeah, first ever library really set the standard. We're going to be a country who has libraries and we're going to have them all over the place for the public. 1803, long time, long time ago. Lots of libraries have been sil- built since then. I wonder if that one's still standing. I was actually just thinking that, too. Yeah. Uh, that's very curious. And while you talk about the next on this day, I'm going to look. Okay. So we <laughs> went from just a really great thing that to happen <laughs> to the U S and we're going to go to something that is very, very not good to the country of Chile in 1960. So also a few years ago, a magnitude 9.4 to 9.6 in that range, you know, can't nail it down precisely earthquake strikes near the city of Valdivia in Chile. This is the strongest earthquake ever recorded and caused multiple tsunamis as well, killing between 1,000 and 7,000 people. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's insane. And like, it's crazy that it's just such a range from 1,000 to 7,000 people. It's a, that it's like, it's, it's kind of sad that it's probably on the higher end of that because of how many people went missing, you know, with like yeah. tsunamis and, and, and all of that stuff. And just like rub, away. R- rubble. Yeah. Being washed away. You float up on shore, like inception, you know, it's, yeah. um, it's like, it's crazy. Uh, it's, it's almost inconceivable to like, um, to think about how much damage and destruction there was from such a big earthquake because it was literally the biggest ever and it caused so much movement because Chile's like right on the coast Mm -hmm. uh, of so all the the water from the tsunamis you know it's just crazy to think about how uh, a tsunami is an earthquake that's underwater so I, I imagine with how big this earthquake was it was it probably was was on both like land and water which right like like you said it's on the coast so that's very very plausible it's just like absolutely unheard of and still to this day you know just a few years later um what was that uh, 62 years later yeah 62 years later still still stands as the greatest or not greatest the biggest largest uh most destructive earthquake ever and i uh i hope that doesn't get broken that's a record i don't want to be broken 
Um, but going back to the first on this day, that library is indeed still open. It's called wow. Scoville Memorial Library in uh, Salisbury, Connecticut. I might huh. have butchered that name. Salisbury? Salisbury. S A L I S B U R Y. Salisbury. Salisbury? Like Salisbury steak? I don't know. Maybe. All right. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, it's there and they're open today until five o'clock. So, oh, uh, well, right. time of recording, they close at four. So, what about on go- Saturday? There. Yeah. That's what I said. Oh, time. Uh, time no, I said time of recording. I, I meant time of posting. Uh, they're closed on Sunday and su- on Monday. Sunday and Monday, they're closed. So, don't All right, try so maybe go, go there, there. hit them up on Tuesday. Yeah. Hit them up on Tuesday this. between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern and Tell specific the- time. Tell them that the Nisto bro sent you. Yeah, tell them the Nisto bro sent you. All right. And then uh, get a book. Speak- I'm not going to go into that. Never mind. That's, All right. that's not a necessary plug. Uh, real quick. Yeah. Nisto drinks, Nisto eats. Go watch them if you haven't. But I do have a sneak peek, even though I already drank it, of the beverage right here. Oh. Calypso Island Wave Lemonade. All right. And like I, I said, it. two weeks ago, it's a very similar color to the Dew Day. Uh, and I'm very good. excited to try it. It says it has multiple different fruits infused into the lemonade, which I talked about my concerns potentially about that last week's episode. Go back and uh, listen to that. I feel like with lemonades or like juices and stuff, it's a bit more accurate i guess if that's yeah, the word then a soda before, you know, sure. yeah then a soda so like I, i'm i'm looking forward to it i know it's already you know been posted at time of posting of this that should be big should i can't be exciting. believe i like I those those lemonades i think i've seen that brand before or something similar i've only had one other flavor so uh i you know i don't have like a full real idea like oh man they're always so good or oh yeah man. um so i'm excited to try it and i really am really excited to try it tomorrow because i've had it for two weeks when i went to go get the cinnamon oh, wow. milk that's when yeah. i got it i've been you know i've been thinking about cracking into it a few times he's and been, been he's been know. holding on he's holding on strong yeah, yeah he's sure. holding on strong as for nisto eats uh yeah go back and watch it because i have no idea what big old question at mark at, you uh, tell us what it was <laughs> and how it was at time of recording zero clue on what i'm doing for nisto eats so maybe it will be a sandwich of some kind that oh. you have on your draft board. That was, that was good. That was a good transition. We're so, going to transition now to yeah. uh, the main segment for the week. Yep. Awesome. going to uh, yeah. share his screen so he can, we can see the full thing. We're actually going to be a little advanced with this graphic. You'll see uh, once we really get started. But again, this was posted by Barstool Sports on the Instagrams. Um, yeah, there'll be a, there'll be a uh, link. Yeah, there'll be a link for it. I can't remember when it was posted a, a week or two ago, I want to say. But uh, actually, actually they, go ahead. can I just share something real quick? Absolutely. Pardon me. So You're okay. I, when I was going back to look, uh, for the post to, to get this, mm-hmm. um, I saw that they have multiple other drafts, uh, you oh. know, whatever podcast or videos that they do for this. It's the draft is a recurring thing. And I saw a couple other different ones. Maybe we could revisit if we have a lot of fun with it and um, do one of I'm their saying, other ones as well. Yeah, I'm just, just saying. saying, hey, Barstool, you're, you're probably going to listen to this. You're going to see your tagged in this by the Nisto bros and be like, hey, what are these guys about? And you're going to watch. We're open to collaborations. Okay. 100%. Help us help you helping us helping you guys with the sandwich drafts and all the other drafts towards the beginning of the middle. Not the end because I don't want it to end. Okay. What were anyway, you going to say though? Yeah. Yeah. So what they did here was uh, there, this is five people. One, two, three, four, five people. Number person number one, person number two, etc. And they did a draft of sandwiches. So there's 25 sandwiches total. I don't know if you want to read them all out as we go. I don't know if it's a lot. I mean, we could do it for the audio listeners, audio learners. I implore the audio uh, learners to go click on the post. Yes. But we will be drafting 
10 of them will also be picking five, but we have all 25 to pick from. Right. So, you know, there's obviously going to be some that aren't taken. Um, but yeah, but, it's but gonna this be is going to be style. the draft. Yes. This is the draft pool that we're looking at here. Um, and, and we can go, we can go off of this and I'm excited. It could get, it could get a little fiery because obviously there's a lot of, there's a lot of marquee names here in the sandwich world on this draft. Yeah. It exactly. all comes down to who gets that pick. Yeah. So, I mean, That's there's only one question, way to find big, out. Big question before oh. we do, before we go, is it snake? So is it you pick, I pick two, you pick two. Or are we just going to go back and forth? What would you like to do? I think back and forth. Back and forth it is then. So if I get the first pick, it goes me, you, you get the me, third you, pick me, too. you. Yeah. I think with two people, that makes the yeah, sense. Yeah, the snake anyway. is like a little bit like, I don't know. Yeah. Kind of weird. Hello? I'm just doing two picks at a time, essentially. Yeah. No, no need. But okay. uh, there's only one way to find out who picks first. And, and that is you rock, guys know what and it that, is. You know what it is. It's rock, paper, scissors. Oh, stretch out here a little bit here. You just stretch the, uh, the old thingies. Ah, scissors. Ah, paper. Ah, rock. Maybe in case I go left-handed. All right. Okay. Only one. Only one. One and done. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoot. You know what? It's funny you say that. I've actually heard and found out that the end shoot or says shoot is a New York thing. Yeah, it's that, everywhere that's, else it's doesn't do original. that, which is weird. Nobody else does. It's just a New York thing. Well, so, we're the best. So to, you're not wrong. To everybody else that's listening and watching from out of state and out of country, uh, that's how the proper way to do it. I don't care what anybody else says. Anyway. You could you could do the the yep. voice, rock, paper, scissors, and shoot. Let's oh, go, baby! Okay. All right, okay. There it is. The Mike won. Pick. I threw rock. He threw paper. Paper covers rock. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows. A little bit pissed. All right. <laughs> the only problem with having the first pick is there's so many good things, but. I'm going right out of the gate. I'm going straight for the jugular. I need it. And I can't have it here in Florida, most likely. I'm going with the bacon, egg, and cheese, damn it. There it I is. need it. That's my number one pick. That is person number three's second. And check out this little sweet ditty. Huh, look at that. Oh, uh, why is it? That's a little uh, thin wasn't it bigger though. before. It, it was. That's what she said. But that is, yeah, it was, it was a bit dirty. Hold on. It was a thicker drawing all right as usual technical difficulties with the misto bros podcast that's a little bit better slightly no, it's still, in between. It's still very thin what happened it is still very thin i thought it was a little bit better than the first what about this one Wasn't there? Oh, oh yeah there it is right, that's right, better right. that's better there we go but there so we it got is. an m big old m for that's mike the m bacon egg and cheese is off the board uh that hurts my soul i knew it it hurts my soul because for blood. Because kind of how I'm thinking about it is, I can now never have a bacon egg and cheese. What are you? I see something here that could be good for the future of the drawing thing. Down at the bottom yes, left, I just saw you could do a little click ski. So that's good. So you don't have to do that every time. Okay, cool. Sorry. Anyway, go ahead with your pick and your evaluation. Yeah. No. 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 I just wanted to say. I'm very distraught because that's kind of how I'm thinking about it is that these are the sandwiches that I'm allowed to eat for the rest of my life. That's how I'm, I'm talking about it. And if I don't have it, if I'm not drafting it right now, I will not eat that sandwich ever again in my life. So (laughs) bacon, egg and cheese, maybe, uh, maybe I'll do a little loophole and I get, uh, just uh, sausage, egg and cheese, maybe like something like that. Oh, that's that's, on the board. That's dirty. That's That's not on the board. That's playing dirty. I mean, essentially, you could do it. You could do it. Essentially, I could. Um, However, with that reasoning, with that logic, there's one on here that I think kind of uh, stands out from the rest uh, that I need to to pick for number – my first overall pick, number two. uh, It was taken right before bacon, egg, and cheese. I'm going with the peanut Ah! and jelly. There it is. There's – there it is. There's my next pick. 
There that it is. My, that was my next pick. I got to say it. That was my next pick. Yeah. That's, uh, Peanut butter you know jelly. What? Absolutely iconic. Mike and I have talked about this with a Denny's waiter. We got to go grape jelly, right? We got to go grape jelly. I will accept other ones. Uh, because I do love just the combination of peanut butter and jelly on a nice slab of uh, two white bread. It's, However, uh, it's it's grape or bust for me. Okay. You, and also, and I gotta say it, even though you picked it, the the OG Nisto sandwich, peanut butter and jellies with M and M's in that bad boy. Yeah. Go and I'm telling you, that's the OG Nisto sandwich. That, that I, I do. Is. I did realize there is no Nisto on the board here. Yeah, uh, I don't know be. if we're gonna allow for additions or something <laughs> off the board, but that, that's really rough because uh, now I don't know. I, I have. I have peanut butter and jelly in my, you know, in my fridge and stuff. Now I just got to go throw it out. I can't, yeah, can't, I, can't have it have, I can't even have it unless I add M&Ms. Ooh. We're getting, we're, we're going to get through some <laughs> loopholes together. I'm sure we're going to get some through some loopholes. Uh, well, okay. Then I, then I got to do it. This wasn't the original pick. So I had a couple options that I was leaning towards here and uh, peanut butter and jelly was, I was, I think the one I was going to go with. Um, and I have now two others. Um, I'm kind of sleeping on one. Hopefully it doesn't get picked. If it does, it does, but I can't, I can't risk this, this pick falling. So you have peanut butter and jelly and grilled cheese. I can't let right. it happen. I, had a feeling, I gotta take I had a my feeling grilled that cheese. was coming. I had a feeling that was coming. Have to. Yeah. And if we're talking on? and if we're talking about if if we're not doing loopholes, if somehow we have no loopholes, grilled cheese has some range. We talk like about it all the time with our, our Mount Rushmore's and Hall of Fame's more more specifically. But grilled cheese has some range, man. Yes, it does. Just like even if you want to just have a basic grilled cheese, the range of just the cheese itself alone is yeah. range worthy. But then you go to like restaurants and they have crazy kind of grilled cheeses with like barbecue sauce on it and bacon and like all kinds of just loaded up goodness. And I need the grilled cheese in my life. For sure. I want to, I want to say one thing too about the peanut butter and jelly thing. Try this out and hear me out. Toast your bread. Oh, big time. Got to toast the bread. Yeah. Toast the bread. It's good either way, but it's pretty life changing when you toast it. I agree with you there uh, for sure. Uh, I've recently become more, I toast it more often than I don't now. Same. Yeah, for sure. You for know, sure. obviously there are some times where I'm in a rush. I can't even have time to right. toast the bread. I just want to, I just want to stuff the gob with a quick PB and J and I can do that now because i drafted it uh but for my second pick i'm gonna go along a similar line uh i think and we're saying in this little quadrant we got going on here um i'm going with the cheeseburger for my second pick um so okay so the a is not one thing because i had to draw oh because you had to do something so what if i did that why is it I didn't make it. <laughs> Why did it do that? That's that's unacceptable. All you right. Need, you fine. need to change your name now. <laughs> uh, what else is one smooth? Maybe I'll maybe I'll do a U instead. You can't even go Tim. Yeah, I know. I was just unless you that. unless you go like I, oh yeah over and back and down, but who the heck does that? Yeah, that's a poor way to make a tea. I'm going yes. with the cheeseburger. Similar thing to what Mike just said. I could cook up a cheeseburger at my house. I could just do a little patty, just do a little cheese, get my bun and go. Oh, hey, hey, I'm going to uh, a a nice old restaurant. We got bacon. We got all the fixings on the cheeseburger, Um, bacon, uh, uh, peanut butter and jelly on my cheeseburger. Do something crazy like that. Uh, You know, you try the bacon jam. This is impossible. Yeah, no, there's a lot of good (laughs) options. Um, And I don't think either of us are going to – you know, be mad. Like our, our five are going to be great, but the five that we're sacrificing are also going to be tough to swallow as well. So I'm going cheeseburger, peanut butter and jelly. I got my snack. I got my full meal as well. I'm just like trying to like pre-draft 
in my head of like how I can do this and, you know, have backup picks in case, you know, there's, there's a robbery on the board. Yeah. And I'm just like, I, I, it's like everything, like they're all anyway. And it's just like, I don't know. I'm trying they're to think all too. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think too of like how you would draft. So I'm like, okay, maybe I could sleep on this one and take this one, you know, to be safe. Yeah. But like, really there's no wrong there's no wrong options here nope 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 both of our five are going to be amazing that being said i'm going with number what is it 13 the pulled pork sandwich gotta do it to them more often than not though i'm i'm, I'm getting if it's good pulled pork i'm getting rid of the bun you don't need it but right for the sake of a sandwich pulled pork sandwich in my veins, please. Yeah, definitely uh, a lot of memories of uh, smoking owls, you know, uh, barbecue joint out on Long Island. Uh, and definitely some fond times with the pulled pork there and uh, lots of other places too. Pulled pork is just incredible. I do Excuse kind of it. agree with you though. I don't prefer it as much on a sandwich. I, I really do think that the, the bread or the bun takes away from the pulled pork. Like, I, I think, like, I understand the concept if you just want to, yeah, ah, you know, like an animal. Yeah. But, like, it doesn't need it. It really doesn't need it. And, and, I, and I say this too with, with bold, por- uh, bold pork, pulled pork, and really just barbecue in general. Good pulled pork should not need sauce. Right. If it's good, and made well it shouldn't need sauce it should already be like cooked in the sauce and it should be in the flavor when you bite into it and i can already sense myself getting heat for how i said sauce i could feel it like the florida tension is real i know alfonso will probably watch this and next time i see him he's gonna be (laughs) like are you babbling idiot (laughs) but thanks for wearing my my merch yeah (laughs) Um, okay. All right. So, and I have two more left. I can't even believe, uh, just like looking at the actual draft of somebody got grilled cheese and peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. I couldn't let that happen to you. Yeah. I couldn't let that be. Um, all right. Look at this though. Number person, number three and number four, man, like it's been all them. I'm going to stray away from that. Now I'll say it right off the bat. I don't know if that's going to leave a door open for you. But I'm picking with my gut, and what my gut wants in my life still is a meatball hero. Oh, I'm going with the meatball. All right, all right. I like myself a spicy meat the ball, and that's what I'm going with. How is like that? It. Little that's accent? a good pick. That's a good pick. Um, that's a strong pick. So I got a quick story about the meatball. One of and it wasn't even that good. It wasn't even that good at the time. But it was one of the days where I circled it on the lunch calendar. And I said, oh, I'm buying that at school for lunch. Yeah. I'm getting the meatball whenever we got the meatball sub, meatball hero, whatever. I'm even going to get that. And at the time, I'm going to pull. I'm going to do a pull pork on you. I wasn't a big bread guy at the time. I've l- turned into loving a meatball hero as it as its own. I would take a fork and just eat the meatballs. Eat the meatballs. Oh, Honestly, it's so a power good. Move. Literally yeah. so good. As a fourth grader, so good. Yeah. Uh, couldn't really. Uh, but now, elevated having real meatball heroes and meatball subs in my life. Oh my goodness, they're they're great. Uh, very filling. Very you know if there's the good balance between cheese and sauce and all that. Yeah. Uh, it's it's some nice good soft bread you know that's a that's a big thing uh i'm going meatball something sandwich. something i thought about the meatball hero and and i can't for the life of me know or remember if i've had this somewhere or if this is just something that i thought of that would be absolutely amazing to enhance a meatball hero or meatball sub having that bread be like a garlic bread mm. Oh, uh, huh. huh. what did I you feel get, like I've had that? What did you feel get, like I've had that somewhere? What did you get on my birthday this year at that restaurant in you got something with garlic bread? So you're right. 
But you did it for Nisto What's Eats. That? You did it for Nisto Eats. What was it? I have to go. I have to go back and check. I have to check. I'll have to check the archives. I don't want to do it right now and, and get. But distracted. you remember that, right? I do. There was something with the car. It was like a big sandwich, and you fell asleep in the car or something because it was just so much food, and that's what the waitress said. Yeah. Ah. The place that was outdoors, right? Yes. I don't uh, even remember the name. I of the can't place. remember the name. It was a very nice establishment too. Very nice. I can't uh, remember. I can't go. Yeah, can't go too can't, deep. Can't go know, too I deep. I don't think that there was meatballs on. Oh, oh, it was chicken. Was it chicken parm? Might have been. Might have been. That's that's something on the board. I don't know. I'm it not, is something on the board. I'm not going to hint at anyone else's picks, but uh, it is on the board. So we'll move on to your pick. Yeah, Meatball we'll move hero. on. Meatball hero. Um, it's tough. I so I'm, I, I've got like three or four five maybe six even in the bank and it's just like i have two left so what which which one do i go with yeah um man it's so hard like to not pick chicken parm but i think i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say it now spoiler alert chicken parm is gonna be an honorable mention i don't right. think it's gonna make it into my five if somehow it's it falls and my other six picks get picked somehow yeah uh, i think maybe i'll go with it but i need to go and I also had this planned. I was going to stray away from three and four. And I got a little scared. I got a little scared. I thought you were going to pick the one I was going to pick. And you came very close. I'm going, I'm going cheesesteak. Nice. Maybe Philly cheesesteak, whatever. Philly needs to have something good, right? I so they got the cheat. They got the cheesesteak. I'm just, man, load that bad boy up. Like yeah. not, not, not too much. Like I don't need like all the peppers and all that stuff. Like even just like a basic, you got the, the cheese, the steak and cheese, like mm, mwah, chef's kiss. Like that's, that's, that's it. Maybe throw some onions on that. Mm. Mm. So good. I, I didn't could go to, I, I could go to pound that. town on a Philly cheesesteak right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Philly cheesesteak was definitely on my board. Um, I think the only thing that, restricted me from definitely picking it or making it a priority to pick earlier is I don't think I've had that many in my life. Now I will say, I know you're a big fan of it. I was kind of expecting you to pick it and cheeseburger was kind of my counter to that early. I wanted something that definitely included a good amount of cheese. You know, I went PB and J first meatball heroes got cheese also, but the cheese steak, it's like a mac and cheese, cheese bowl, right? That was, that was the, the cheeseleys that you got, right? It was yes. Philly cheesesteak yes. with was, uh, onion tanglers. Yeah, steak and tanglers. So and tangler. go get that. Order it on the Cheesley's app and use promo code Nisto Bros for $5 off your orders of 25 or more. Yeah, do it. Yeah, the Philly steak and tangler, I believe, was the menu name. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Just so good. So that was your fourth pick. You only got one left, and I have I'm I have two. I don't left know which here. way to go. Um, I feel confident that you won't pick. I'm doing a little bit of draft strategery here, as you were trying to do as well. <laughs> strategery is, is that? A yeah, word? that's how you say it. I promise. I, I don't. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm going back to number four. I'm picking the ice cream sandwich. Ah, oh, it was I, one I, of them. I had to go for it. I had to go for it. <laughs> It was the, it's the only dessert option on yeah. there. And I felt like, you know, chip, which I don't know if that oh, includes yeah. I don't know. this because this Maybe. just says ice cream sandwich. In some sense, a chip, which is an ice cream sandwich. Yeah. All oh, the ones a that are uh, sandwich. Oh, wow. Well, well, it's not, well, we're not getting into that fire debate. Um, the ice cream I'm, sandwich. What was that? Uh, was there a chip? Was it a chip, which? That that uh the vegan place that we did that was on this the little nook yeah the little nook yeah. did they know yeah but yeah I think it was uh that's one of our the most viewed episodes of Nisto eats it's got a it's got a bunch that was a big episode that was when I first debuted my first ever Nisto eats shirt yeah it was a big that deal was, that was a big deal and I remember there was like a lot of fans there but that weren't. A part of the family there's yeah you know, i won't go i won't go into it but <laughs> no it was a good spot though it was a good spot yeah. they had uh very they definitely spot. had some That's good chip upsetting. which is and um it's upsetting. yeah so i went ice cream sandwich to get a little bit more diversity on my <sighs> team but also 
uh, just an ice cream sandwich is just an amazing thing. Like, especially that one right yeah. there. I underrate um, it. I definitely underrate it. Like, just like the classic prime. chocolate cookies with uh, not even cookies. They're so soft. It is a little uh, whatever they are. And the, the ice cream in the middle, it's just the perfect balance of everything. And it's always a good bite. I love it. Oh, man. So here we go. The last pick for me. And I guess if with you this... take the one that I was strategizing about, I'm going to be very, very upset. Uh-oh. Just you know. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to think out loud um, because I can, uh, because I, it's not like I'm going to lose a pick. Um, some of the ones I've been thinking about the Buffalo chicken. I really like the Buffalo chicken. I mean, like a Buffalo chicken slider, even from like Arby's between two and five. That's when their happy hour is all sliders are a dollar. So you're welcome there. Arby's for that little plug. Uh, and for a lot of my money, but yeah, (laughs) Buffalo chicken, even if you change that to like a barbecue chicken, I know it's like a little substitute there for chef's kiss. Uh, obviously I mentioned chicken parm barbecue brisket is is up there but I, I, that's another one like the pulled pork i'd rather have brisket by itself um i almost maybe even want like the brisket if it is going to be in like a sandwich form to be in like a hero kind of like the um like the either the meatball or the philly cheesesteak put it in like that some like cheese on it like the philly cheese mm. uh even the cuban i can't sleep on the cuban it's not 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 too bad. I haven't. Uh, I think that'll be like the, your Philly cheesesteak. I might not. I haven't had enough of it. Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't be fair to mention the Taylor ham slash pork roll. And I love that it's it's got both. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two episodes ago, of course, having Jersey Muscle Society on there, we they alluded clarified to it. For it. Us. it yeah. North is is Taylor ham. North Jersey, South Jersey is pork roll. Um, <sighs> I don't know which way to go with this, man. I mean, even a bakes, basic ham sandwich is, is a good go-to. Mm. Um, You're telling me. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I struck a chord. <laughs> um, Maybe well, it's part of the strategy. Uh, it could be the strategy. It could have been one of those that I said. Ah, man. I, the clock is – I'm on the clock. I'm running out of time. Um, I think time. the mm-hmm. final pick – I got the bacon, egg, and cheese, so I'm going to opt out of the, the Taylor ham slash pork roll, unfortunately. Hey, Siri. I'm wow. let this bitch decide. Pick a number one through three. A random number between one and three is two. Okay. She's spoken. <laughs> Chicken parm is the one that's going on. All right. I was going to go uh, one being the brisket, barbecue brisket, two, chicken parm either way, and buffalo chicken was going to be number three uh, for, for that. But, uh, yeah, chicken parm, I mean, all, all tough, man. That's tough. That, that, la- that last pick is very difficult. Yes, it is. Chicken parm, though, I mean, we talked about it a little bit before, um, a super solid pick. It, it was up there. So kind of my thinking – was like meatball was kind of like my italian pick you know that kind of classic and chicken parm was probably second for me and then maybe italian sub i'm not a big uh italian beef i'm surprised that went number one i don't know if that's yeah Um, i I don't know if this guy was just a big homer for italian beef and then there's also an italian beef combo i don't even know what the difference is again maybe that makes me a casual sandwich getter i'm not really 100 percent sure but uh, I went meatball with my Italian pick. Chicken parm was definitely second. So it was very close, uh, but I decided meatball a little bit for, more for the nostalgia, but a chicken parm kills. A chicken yeah. parm kills. Um, and you got a good, totally, totally you got a good variety too. as well. You got, yeah. uh, you got chicken, you got pork, you got steak, you got bacon, you got egg, you got All cheese. the meats, all the meats. All the meats. So with my final pick, RB, RB saying, we, I guess I'll talk. Teams. I'll I'll talk out some of my uh, honorable mentions as well. Um, I was also thinking Taylor Ham slash Pork Roll. I haven't had one. I haven't had the pleasure, so I couldn't do it. But I did want something for breakfast. You stole bacon, egg, and cheese right off the bat. I can't. Right. There's no other breakfast option out there. So I'm gonna go without breakfast, and I have dessert instead. I have an ice cream sandwich. I was thinking oh. buffalo chicken. Also, shout out to Steve. Mentioned that's what we have to get. 
from yeah. the diner that he mentioned in Jersey. So I was thinking about that. I was thinking about a Euro, a gyro, just gyro. because I uh, thought of it too. Just I didn't because mention, but yeah. I was thinking of uh, the SNL skit. You're like the juice uh, on, <laughs> on your gyro, you know? <laughs> This is very good. Okay. So uh, that's the only reason why I wanted to bring that up. The Ruben, I'm a new convert to. Similar, uh, I guess, a little bit in the different from the cheesesteak because I've had cheesesteaks longer in my life. But Rubens, I've just kind of come around to more recently. I like them a lot, but not consistent enough for me in my life. All that being said, I know maybe you struck a chord with the ham sandwich. Ham sandwich. I think it's a little too, uh, a little too basic. You touched on the other one though. I'm going barbecue brisket nice. for my last pick. I wanted something in the barbecue realm. I'll be honest. For sure. Pulled pork was my first choice in the ah. barbecue realm, but it was taken. But I'm very happy with a brisket. I think, <laughs> arguably, arguably. A very good brisket is just as good, if not better, than a very good pulled pork. Now, what I'll say is I've probably had more good pulled pork than I've had good brisket. I agree with that. It's kind of like that waffles pancakes debate in my head or like pancakes French toast. You have more consistently good pancakes in your life, but when you have a good French toast, that I mean, that's a whole separate discussion. I don't yeah. want to get... Uh, yeah, we should get into a big breakfast discussion I mean, we, did, we did a breakfast episode we as did well. a little bit but yeah. um so that's why i went barbecue brisket i needed to have some barbecue in my life to mix with all my other uh elements that i got going on in my draft um, no, i agree it's a, good, it's a good pick i agree too it's very much like the like waffles french toast or something it's like pulled pork is usually the safer one but like they people will mess that up um which I don't really know if I've had a bad waffle i guess if you like overcook it or something mm -hmm. but like brisket it's i feel like more often than not the brisket gets messed up over the pulled pork like i don't know yeah. it's just something about it um the there's like also off, yeah the texture could be, could be off much. yeah the texture could be off there could be like too much like fattery fatty yep. fattiness on on the brisket so but uh still a very good pick um so i mean with how our draft looks it looks like you know number 4 player number 4 there won it for, yeah, in our, in I mean, our we even eyes. talked about the, even, the gyro as well. Yeah, so yeah, we talked absolutely. about all four, uh, five of their picks. I okay, and we haven't said it, but I, I'm going to come clean here. I don't know, and I think we've talked about this off camera. I have no idea what number 22 and 23 are. Uh, Sim, yeah, I don't even know if I could say it. Uh, Sim, Samita. Samita and Cap Caprice. Caprice. I've heard of Caprice salad. I don't know. Uh, I didn't know it was made into a sandwich. That sandwich doesn't even look good to me. I don't, I don't know what that is. I don't know. It looks like it looks like a it. salad on bread. Yep. Why the heck would I want that? Um, I'm not sure. And um, I don't know what a samita is. It kind of looks like there's like onions and also lettuce on it. I'm not really sure, but yeah. We we uh sh we definitely shied away from the ones we weren't sure about. I mentioned the Italian beef. Not sure if I'm a casual for that. Yeah. But uh, you know, we talked about almost all of them. I think. We conclude. I mean, this wasn't necessarily something we were thinking about doing, but I think number four probably won the draft and getting grilled cheese, PB and J, chicken parm, yeah. ice cream sandwich in there as well, and the gyro. You got everything. That's a very there. strong. You uh, got everything there. Yeah. So let's uh, do one final rundown, and then we will transition to the post of the week. Yes, absolutely. So to round off my my five is the bacon egg and cheese. See, I don't know what they have that on bread or something. That's blasphemy. It looks just like it just looks like toast it looks like toast which is blasphemy you got to get it at least on a bagel but the roll is the way to go get it on a roll uh bacon egg and cheese grilled cheese cheese steak slash philly cheese steak pulled pork sandwich and chicken parm sandwich I'm, all I'm, heavy hitters i'm all heavy i'm hitters. stoked i'm stoked yeah. about that i went i, I really like yours too <laughs> yeah i mean i'm very happy with how, and we talked about this in the middle, you know, like yeah. both of our five were going to be elite. It was just yeah. a matter of which five were we not taken yeah. um, and the other person got. So I have, you know, I tried to kind of go around and get a little bit of everything. I got the PB and J. I got the cheeseburger. I got the meatball hero, ice cream sandwich for dessert and a little barbecue brisket 
as well. Love it. Love it. There Fire it is. Up. Let us know what. Damn, I mean, I'm hungry now, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> Can I switch? You just switch. I think you could. I think Let's you could. But I could share. talk. I could talk in the middle of it. We're gonna pull up the. Uh, Here, uh, I just need. I need. Oh. 20 seconds 20 seconds i could talk for 20 seconds we're gonna pull up the post of the week here lots happening uh you know nhl playoffs has started um there was a no hitter uh i i don't remember who it was austin knows uh, uh spencer turnbull for of the uh tigers that's probably why i would n- not Boom. know that can you see it? oh wow brilliant and also what else happened mike what was that was that supposed to be me talk about this yeah Oh, okay, good. Because I completely, I lost that. Clearly, uh, this is from a little a little Twitter account called at MLB. They have not, this yeah. blue check mark next to them. They might they might have paid for it. Honestly, I know you could pay for it. Um, I think they might. have. I'm not too familiar with them. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, this at MLB character, um, the caption of the picture is the machine makes four. Albert. Pujols is officially a Dodger and to speak those words is kind of gross. I'm not going to lie. Um, But yeah, he stayed in LA, but just went to, uh, went to the national league. I mean, he does look good in blue. Gotta say it, but four MVPs. Spent his whole career in red. He has. And now he's gone to the blue side, if you Mm -hmm. will, but four MVPs there, you know, it's Kershaw, Mookie Betts, is that Bellinger? It is Bellinger. Yeah, I can't. I can't then, recognize his face. And then, of course, Albert Pujols. And so it's an interesting one. I've seen a lot of uh, of, I guess, heat, if you will, to use a wrestling term, that the Angels are kind of getting to not give him more of a send off. Um, and before I before I actually address that, the, the the contract that that Pujols got, he's still getting paid in full by yeah. the Angels plus. You know, um, I don't know. It's like a veteran's minimum. Or yeah, something like that. it's not much, but it's I mean, he doesn't much, need much because his that last year on the Angels contract was twenty something million dollars. Yeah, he's still getting paid in full by the Angels, and he's getting it's uh, I think it's four hundred and twenty thousand uh, for I, I guess this just one year, right? Yeah. Um, and who knows whether whether he stays or retires after or goes somewhere else. I'd love to see him wrap up his career with the Cardinals, honestly. Awesome. Yeah. Um, whether he plays or not. Um, he could just be a good guy to have in their dugout. Um, and I could see him going back to the Cardinals as like a coach or, or a hitting coach or something like that. But the going back to the angels thing, um, they were saying like, he should have had more of a send off for them and stuff like that. And, and I'm going to disagree because what did he do for the angels? Really? Not much. It's like, Not yeah, he's all. still Albert Pujols. He's one of the best, baseball players to ever play the game but like if he didn't do anything for the team why are you gonna why are you gonna praise him yeah. you know what i mean it's like it's kind of weird you know it just like doesn't really make sense um, i think my, i can't really like, think of another example but my like kind of yeah. counter it's not really a counter i'm just playing a little bit of devil's advocate is that uh if he didn't if this was i think people are getting a little upset if the situation was different if the situation was that um, they decided that or he wasn't valuable enough and Pujol said, you know what, they're right, I, I don't have a place on a team anymore, I'm going to retire, then it would be different. Yes. You know, if that was his last game or whatever, uh, and then they said, oh, you know what, we're actually cutting you. And, and then he said, oh, I'm just never going to play again. Then the situation is different. Maybe, you know – a little bit of a retirement tour type thing or yeah. a little just send off goodbye game type deal uh, would have been in deal uh, in, uh, in order. However, he clearly say that he wanted to keep playing and now it's obvious he does. He's playing on a new team, the Dodgers new number 55. He switched from number five to 55 because Corey Seager is number five on the Dodgers. Um, and he got an RBI single in his first game, so he's obviously not that washed. Uh, so he's, still, he's still going to contribute to this already stacked <clears throat> Dodgers team. They've been dealing with some injuries, so they brought him in. I think, uh, you know, at the very least, he'll be another veteran presence who's won a World Series, won an MVP to help, you know, some of the younger guys and uh, just continue 
what's looking to be some kind of a reign of terror for the for the Dodgers for many years to come with all the talent that they have. Yeah, and like I know they're the defending World Series champions, but uh, to me, they're still the Dodgers. They're yeah. still gonna make. They're gonna. It's like you know they'll make the playoffs like just about every year. But how many times did it, how many chances did it take them to win that World Series? Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'm like, I, I take it with a grain of salt. If they do win, I'm not surprised. And if they bust, I'm even less surprised. Also, yeah, you know. So yeah, they could, they could the, win the, the they could win the like NL that. they could win the NL West and have like uh, they could be the best team in in the MLB. And then they get to the the playoffs. I mean, and that just goes for everybody. The playoffs is a clean slate. You're 0 and 0 when you when you make to the playoffs. So the Dodgers obviously a known history of not doing well in the in the playoffs. But we'll see what happens. Only time yeah. will tell. Good luck we to them. Will. But I I say that uh, just out of respect because I kind of don't wish you luck. Now I said it. So yeah, and it'll be interesting to see. I'm gonna stop sharing here, just like a little closing remark. It'll be interesting to see what uh Pujols does uh following After. this season. Uh mm-hmm. I think he's 41, maybe yeah, he, he's definitely he's up, up there. He, he's, he's up not there. he does not gonna have an everyday role. Uh no. I think he understands that. Um, but it's gonna kind of be like um who was I think uh, this is a little bit of a different example, but I was thinking basketball, Carmelo Anthony was out of the league for yeah. a year came back for the Blazers and now he's uh you know he's been a contributing member. He's yeah, really reinvented himself, really. Not a star by any means, but he's uh, a contributing bench player and helping them, you know, they're in the playoffs. So, it, yeah. it, I think it's kind of similar. Uh definitely getting up there, you know, kind of rode off like, oh, can Pujols even really do anything? And we'll see how he proves himself on the Dodgers. Yeah, it's going to be kind of an adjustment too. I mean, like especially for like a veteran player to go to a National League team, you don't have that DH role where you yeah. can just kind of have like a half day if you will. It's like you're either in or you're not. Like, yeah. Unless you come off the bench for like a pinch hit yeah. role, but like you kind of don't have that. You have less options really. But yeah, interesting to see how he does finish out bleh, finishes out the year uh and see what he does next year. Should be should be interesting to say the very least um speaking of interesting oh speaking of interesting uh next week actually we're gonna have uh we're gonna ha- we're gonna do a dinner date so i know you may be thinking oh nisto bros you just did a dinner date shut up no we didn't we actually did an interview with the Jersey Muscle Society. And if you know what the dinner date theme is, it's a hypothetical interview. You dig? So get your facts straight. So next week, we're doing a real dinner date segment. So I guess a not real dinner date. The dinner date segment is a not real dinner date, but the last dinner date was a real dinner date. Without dinner. Without dinner. So, you know. Next week will be Dinner date with Lil Wayne. There Lil it is. Wayne. I'm, I, you know, I, I tried. I, I still, I'm waiting for a response. He's a busy man. Maybe he just didn't see it. Um, trying to get him on the pod, but uh, a little difficult. Yeah. I, I don't have him on the celly. Uh, you know, hmm. new number. I lost all the numbers. So, but I'm going to be very excited to talk about him and his career and all that he's done. And we'll definitely have a good time whether he's here or not. So stay tuned for that for episode 61 next week. And to wrap up episode 60, Mike. Yeah, I got to tell you about this crazy dream I had last night. All right. Oh, okay. I actually had a very, I had a very, I actually had crazy dreams last night, but that's my yeah, so, point. So, so, so did I. Uh, yeah. I, had, I had a dream. I was, uh, I was drowning. Uh, oh, I was drowning in an ocean that was made out of orange soda. Oh, Kel. <laughs> what? Kel. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, it took me a while to work out. It was, uh, it was just a fantasy. Um, <laughs> I knew I was trying to think. I was trying to think, bro. I knew it was going somewhere with the brand. <sighs> I was trying to think like crush something about crush. No. Nope. Fantasy, Fanta C, like S E A, as well. So that's a two. That's a two for one. That's, that's a two double, for one. That's a double joke. Two wow. for one, baby. Let's go. Fanta, 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 Fanta C. 
I emphasize wow. it. I don't really know what I say, whether I say Fanta or Fanta. I kind of switch, well, fantasy but... sounds better for the joke. I mean, yeah, but I emphasized it so you would know. That's even like a triple because it's like fantasy, Fanta, C. All right. Very good. I like that one a lot. <laughs> I do too. What do you call a deer with no eyes? You know this one? I know All this right. one. You, 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 so Austin has said before we started recording that he has the joke. He's not sure if I know it or not. Um, but he said, if I do, then he's got one on deck. And for the record, the punchline is no idea. Yeah, no idea. Uh, what do you call? It's still a good one, though. Sorry, go ahead. What do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? You don't know that part of it? I feel like I do, but I, I don't remember. Go ahead. Hit still me. no idea? So- <laughs> <laughs> that one's free that one's free. <laughs> there it is it's kind of like uh what do you all right we're just we're just giving all, all the free jokes here. yeah uh what do you call a fish with no eyes yeah <laughs> all right sorry go ahead with the real joke now okay two muffins were sitting in an <laughs> oven <laughs> what i don't know just that's funny. <laughs> That's a funny setup. I got them already, guys. I don't even need to finish it. <laughs> Two muffins were sitting in an oven. One turned to the other and said, wow, it's pretty hot in here. The other one shouted, wow, a talking muffin. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> That's silly. That's very silly. <laughs> That's really silly. Very silly. All right. There's all your jokes. We got you. We Ooh. gave you a bunch. Yeah, we gave you a whole book full of, of jokes there. Yeah. Episode 60 your is. Yeah. Episode episode 60 is a wrap. Download the Cheesley's app. We've already done that one. We've done the Nisto ships. We've done it all. The I am merch. That's it. See you. Bye. Goodbye. Peace, love, sip. I don't know where I wanted to go with it. Uh, let's start over. Start over. Start over. Cut. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> uh, buy I am merch and Nisto Bros merch and eat all those bar stool sandwiches. That one was that was good. Was eat good. the sandwiches for sure. Yeah. And and listen. Listen. Goodbye. Peace.